Okay guys, so we're going to go ahead and do our uh, bird beak evolution lab. So in order to do this, I'm going to do my very best to sort of model how this lab should look. Uh, and then uh, I'll let you guys, you know, you guys can actually use the data that I am able to record. Or if you want to, you guys can go ahead and do this at home. Uh, but just to go ahead and show you guys uh, what I'm able to come up with here, uh, I have three pieces of paper towel, and these are each going to represent my different islands on the Galapagos. On this paper towel, I have lima beans, which is going to represent large seeds, such as those that were talked about in the cactus on the HHMI, the Beak of the Finch video. Medium seeds, which are represented by black beans in this case, and then I have my small seeds over here, which are represented by grains of rice. Uh, now you can use whatever different seeds that you want to, it doesn't really matter, I just want it to be small, medium, and large. You can see the small grains of rice here. Okay, uh, in addition to those three different types of seeds, I also have three different types of bird beaks. So I have uh, these tweezers, they're going to be my long and thin bird beaks. These scissors are going to be my large and, you know, medium or medium-sized bird beaks, you know, uh, very, very thin that way. And then uh, this binder clip, which you can, I just had these lying around, is going to be my broad, you know, uh, flat beak, I guess. Anyway, so, um, and then I've got this cup here, and this is, cup is going to represent my stomach, right? So... I'm going to try to put all of those uh, beans, uh, those seeds, into this thing right here. So let's go ahead and get started. So what you'll need for this is all the materials I've listed here, as well as a timer. I'm going to go ahead and use my phone as the timer. And you're going to want to set your timer for about uh, 20 to 30 seconds. I'm actually going to set mine for 20 seconds. Okay, and what you want to do is you want to get your cup. Uh, and your beak ready, uh, and you're going to go ahead, uh, and as soon as you start the timer, you're going to start eating, uh, and you're going to try to get as many of these seeds into the cup as you can within that time period. Now, this is very important. You can only pick up one seed at a time, okay? So, I don't want to hear about any scooping or, you know, doing this, you know, you're scooping it into the cup. No, you're not allowed to scoop it up here either, just one at a time. That even goes for this guy with the grains of rice, okay? It doesn't matter, one at a time. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to go ahead and start. Whew, okay, and uh, let's see. Uh, so, oh, God. Two, two. There we go. Mm, it's harder. Pressure. Four. Uh, yeah. No. Ah, come on. I'm going to starve to death. Oh, my God. Okay, all right. So, oh, stop. Okay. So, using this size beak, okay, at this island, I managed to get, I'm going to pour these out here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I got nine of those seeds with this beak, so I'm going to go ahead and put this beak next to those nine seeds. Okay, I, I'm then going to pick up my medium beak, and I'm actually going to do the same thing again on the same island. Okay, because the idea is that this island will have a uh, variation in beak size. So there'll be birds that live in this island that have beaks like this, and there'll be birds in the island that have beaks like this, and birds in the island that have beaks like this. And I want to see which bird is going to survive best on this island. So I'm going to use my scissors now. Same island, same seeds. Okay, I'm going to get whoops. Gonna go in and start my timer, and here we go. All right, ooh, this is gonna be tough. Oh gosh. Okay, one, one, two, three, four, 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 five. Come on, six. Oh gosh, nope, six. All right, and seven. Okay, so I got, I got seven beads with my flat medium beak. Okay, so I'm going to pour those seeds out just a little bit. So I have seven, and I'm going to put my medium beak next to that. And now I'm going to repeat this same island, same seeds, with the large flat beaked birds. Now this one's going to be tough. So here it goes. Okay, all right, so starting the timer again. 20, oh, 20 seconds, and go. Oh, God. Oh, no. This isn't going to work at all. Oh, okay, wait. Mm. 
One. One, anybody. One. Come on, one. Come on. That's... All right, I got one. Got hot. One. All right, and, uh, oops. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh wow, one. Okay, yeah, these guys, whoo. Okay, so I got one for that beak. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is uh, I'm going to go ahead and record that. Okay, so I got nine of the small seeds with this beak. I got seven with this beak, and I got one with this beak on island number one. Okay, and what's that? So I'm going to use this. I'm going to put this data into my uh, Google Doc, which I'll go ahead and explain to you guys um, when you guys are looking at this on your Google Classroom. The second half of this video will show you how to do that. Uh, and you're going to record your data on the Google document, and then you're going to go ahead uh, and you're going to see which bird beak you think is going to survive best on which island. Now, I'm going to say this one is probably going to survive best on this island. And I'm going to say that these guys probably aren't going to last too long in this population, right? But they might do better with another population, such as with the large lima beans. Who knows? We'll see. Okay, so that'll be up to you to decide when you do this experiment for yourself. Okay, so uh, hopefully you understand how to do this. Replay the video if you get confused. Of course, we'll use all three beaks for each of the three islands and record our data and figure out which beak is best at surviving on which island. Okay, so let's go ahead and use the second part of the video to figure out how to collect our data uh, and come to a conclusion. Good morning or good afternoon as the case may be. Hey guys and welcome to another day of instruction. Today we're going to do a bird beak evolution lab to sort of help us to better understand some of the principles of natural selection, speciation, and barriers to gene flow that we've been talking about. Um, so this is a really phenomenal lab. It's easy to model at home. However, I do know that resources and supplies can be very limited at home. Uh, and so I've done my best to make this as accessible as possible, but if you do not have the supplies at home, then I have performed the lab, as you have seen in the first half of this video, uh, and you'll be able to use that uh, to be able to collect your data. So um, hopefully you've watched the first half, uh, or you have done the experiment yourself, and let's go ahead and dive in. So first, when you come into the Google Doc, it'll open it up. It should have your name as part of the uh, actual uh, text up there. That should be okay for you to be able to uh, modify in any way. You don't have to create a copy for yourself. It should be done for you. So go ahead and read this introduction. Uh, and it'll talk about the stuff the video talked about, but in far less detail. And then finally, you'll go down here to what you need. Uh, these things, uh, the types of grabby things you want to use to simulate beaks, you can do tweezers, clothespins, whatever. It doesn't really matter what they are as long as you can pick stuff up. I've had students in the past use chopsticks. Um, I've, I've had all sorts of stuff. So just, you know, be creative with it. Whatever you want to do. You can do a straw, try to suck the bean up and, and deposit it in the, uh, in the cup. Just be careful you don't, you know, aspirate a bean and, and, and die. Um, okay, so uh, then you read these instructions, right? Uh, the, the big part of these is that you only pick up one seed at a time. That was in the video. Please follow to that because otherwise the experiment really won't work very well at all. Uh, and then you get down here to recording your data. Okay, so we're going to pretend that you've watched the first half of this video and or have done the experiment yourself. You would record your data here. Okay, but um, I'm going to go down to the data that I have recorded. This is what I found in each of my trials that you guys saw the beginnings of in the video. Uh, and I'm going to show you just how to calculate the average uh, and help fill out the rest of this data so that you guys can answer the post lab questions about which beaks would survive best and, and all that fun stuff. Let's go down to my data. So you can see here are the trials that you guys watched. It was 9, 7, and 1 for small, medium, and large beaks. You guys remember that. Uh, and I'm going to take you over here to figure out how to calculate the average. So I, so I only showed you that I did one trial in the video. I did one trial of small, one trial of medium, and one trial of large. Okay, but ideally you would reset it and uh, use the small thin beak three different times and then use the medium uh, scissor beak in my case three different times and then the big binder clip beak three different times. 
Uh, the reason you want to do multiple trials is to make sure that you didn't accidentally do something stupid and, and not pick up beans because of some sort of fluke or you just, you know, weren't feeling great that time. Like for this one, was this a fluke that I just picked up one? And not really. I mean, I picked up more in the other trials, but uh, just barely. So the large was still really hard. It just helps us to make sure our data is, uh, is accurate and, and, and correct. So uh, how do you calculate the average? So of course, once you do your three different trials with the small, medium, and large, you have to calculate the average number of beans you're able to pick up to give you a good idea of the best representation of that data. How do you cal calculate average? The average or the mean is calculated by taking the data from each trial, adding it all together, and then dividing by the number of trials. In this case, because we have three trials, we're going to divide by three. So pull up your handy dandy calculator on your phone or computer or whatever. Go ahead and clear it. Uh, and then you're going to want to enter in your data. So I'm going to calculate the average on island number one for my small beak. So here we go. Small beak, the first trial I had nine, plus 11, plus eight is going to give me 28, right? So 28 divided by the number of trials, one, two, three, so divided by three is going to give me 9.3. So on average, I picked up about 9.3, or if we rounded down, 9 beans per average on that first island. I've already calculated these two averages for you. You can go ahead and check your work, though, and see if you can recalculate them and see if they equal the ones that I calculated. And then you go down, and I didn't calculate any of these. So if you want to use my data, you'll have to calculate the averages for it. Well, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh. uh, of course, because I'm a teacher. So, uh, you will go ahead and calculate the averages, and then you'll use the averages to answer these questions. Now, why wouldn't you use the normal data? If you use the normal data and you used one of these, say the one, and you ignored the rest of it, you would be ignoring, uh, you would be basing all of what you thought on a single trial. And that's never a good idea in science. In science, we want to try uh, to simulate as many trials as possible to get as accurate data as possible. Fewer trials give us more room for bias and for error. Okay, well, go ahead and do that. Answer the post lab questions and you are done. I hope you enjoyed this bird beak lab and I hope it helped you to gain a new understanding and appreciation for natural selection and uh, for speciation. Have an awesome day. Stay safe, stay well.